Don't want to mislead This is all you need Be your everything Yeah, I'll be your everything Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it You're pressing on my body Babe, let me tell you something So this is what I meal prepped uh, for my flight tomorrow. I just have a short turn, so I fly from Toronto to Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay back. Um, they're probably like, I don't know, like two hour flights there and back, so I'll probably be gone for five hours, so not very long at all. But I just really like to be prepared, especially because it's an early morning turn. Um, so I like to have everything ready so that I can sleep in as long as possible and take my time to get ready and not feel rushed. Um, so I just did a quick, uh, like speed through of me preparing all this stuff. But what I made was for breakfast, I'm just, I started with making this smoothie. It just has a full banana, some strawberries and orange juice. Um, so I just did that in the magic bullet. That's just gonna be easy to grab and drink in the morning. And then I also made overnight oats. So I just put a cup of oats, um, some milk. Uh, what else did I put in here? Oh, some, I used like a ripened banana and I crushed that up. I put some peanut butter, um, some organic honey and I put a little bit of cinnamon in there too uh, so those are going to be really good as my breakfast I'll probably eat these once I get to the airport before I get out of the car and then I made a lunch really quickly too this is super easy it's just a chicken teriyaki stir fry I just put some red bell peppers in it onion um, a chicken breast and then some some rice and I put it all together in a pan with some teriyaki sauce and then I always bring one of these too just because they're so, like so easy to just grab and eat really quickly in between services or whatever on the plane just something to tie me over until I can get a meal in or something like that so I always make sure I have some of those with me even if I don't end up eating them they're always good to have so I'm just gonna put that into my lunch bag it's a pretty big lunch bag it's kind of dirty in there so whatever <laughs> don't judge and the lunch bag I use is one from the company. We actually have to have a lunch bag from the company. I know that um, a lot of other flight attendants with other companies are allowed to buy their own lunch bag as long as it's black. Ours is provided by our company. Uh, so yeah, this is just the one that standard one that everyone has. <laughs> my little hand sanitizer attached right there so I'm just gonna throw that in the fridge and then it'll all be ready for tomorrow uh, so that's yeah so I'm just gonna throw my lunch bag in the fridge and then it'll all be ready for tomorrow which is really good and easy for me because I can just worry about waking up and getting ready and everything's done like my breakfast and everything is done I just have to worry about making my coffee obviously and getting in my car and going uh, so I really like to do meal preps especially for early morning turns the day before um, just so that I don't feel rushed especially at night because I like to get like a good sleep so like I'll go to bed really early tonight because I have to be up super early in the morning so I just spent most of my day just prepping for tomorrow 
um so yeah that's basic my basic meal prep and i will probably talk to you guys in the morning when i wake up so i will see you bright and early tomorrow morning <laughs> good morning it is 3 55 in the morning um yeah <laughs> I just um, woke up to start getting ready for my Tampa Bay term this morning but as I was making my coffee to start getting ready I got a call from crew scheduling and our aircraft went mechanical so it's not working properly enough for us to fly so they switched the aircrafts and I'm on reassignment today which means that I am not doing that flight um, and they could call me between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. for a different flight or 7 p.m. and 8 p.m. for a different flight only in between those hours um, and I would have to take the flight uh, if they don't call me between those hours then I get paid for my original Tampa Bay flight even though I get to stay at home so I'm glad that they called me before I left but I am going to go back to bed and I will talk to you guys when I wake up in the morning, if I get another flight, something like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so tired. Hey guys, so I just got, got finished getting ready um, for my Punta Cana turn, uh, which is this afternoon. I won't be back until probably like 2.40 in the morning. Anyways, I just wanted to pop on here quick. Um, I slept at my dad's last night because they had someone coming in to do a water test and they needed someone there at 9 in the morning. So I slept there and got ready there. Um, and then I noticed that I brought two different kinds of boarding shoes, so one with a wedge and one with a heel, so I had to come all the way back home and get to my proper shoes. Um, so I just wanted to pop in here and tell you guys that because, oh my gosh, it's just been hectic. I literally just realized once I got ready, so I had to pop back in and get those. Uh, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys once I'm in the car on the way to the airport. Hey guys, so I'm in the car. Uh, I just got in the car. Um, I'm on my way to the airport. I have a Punta Cana turn. Um, it leaves at 3.45 in the afternoon, but I have to be at the aircraft at 2.45. Um, so I'm leaving now. It's about 1.15. I'm leaving a little early because I don't know um, I don't know what traffic's gonna be like on the way into the airport. Sometimes it can be really bad. It's a Friday and it's only, you know, 1.15 in the afternoon, so I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too bad, but you literally never know uh, with Toronto traffic. Um, it's freezing outside. I don't have a jacket on, and you guys are probably like, what the hell? Um, my work jacket is super heavy on my arms and I can't lift my shoulders when I'm driving, so I take it off and warm up my car and put it in the back seat. Um, so that's basically that um yeah so i have the punta cana turn at 3 45 i don't get back in until about two in the morning i'm pretty sure mm, i mean it's not too bad uh, i guess that's kind of what i signed up for anyways right um so yeah i have that punta cana turn it's friday so i have saturday sunday monday off and then i have a three-day pairing uh tuesday wednesday and thursday so i don't know if i'm gonna make them two separate vlogs or whatever but obviously you saw the clip um before which was yesterday. I was supposed to have a Tampa Bay turn yesterday morning, super early, but the plane uh, had an AOG, so it was stuck on the ground. They were doing something with it, so they just switched out the planes and a different crew did my turn. So I got to stay home yesterday, which was really nice because I've been really sick the last couple days, like so sick. My nose is so chapped around the edges, like it's peeling and it, like when I move my nostrils, it feels like it's like ripping the skin, whatever. It's winter, it happens, but I'm glad that I got yesterday off because I literally just sat in bed, um, read a book, and just caught up on some rest time. So that was really good. I feel a lot better today. Um, I haven't flown in a while, so it's going to be really good. Hopefully, I have a really good crew, I'm pretty sure. So I will vlog a little bit more when I get to the airport. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I just got into the parking garage, and I'm super happy because I got a bomb ass parking spot and if you work 
at uh, the Toronto Pearson Airport, you know what it's like to find a parking spot in this parking garage, especially in the middle of the afternoon during a weekday, okay? You know how hard it is. You're up and down and up and down and there's like a thousand speed bumps. When you drive a little tiny car like mine, every time you go over a speed bump, you think you're gonna rip the bottom of your car off. I found a parking spot on the second floor which is great. I like to park on the first usually because then it's less speed bumps. I have to go down a couple, you know, elevator turns and whatever, but at least when I'm on the first floor, I don't have to go any, over any speed bumps, but I got a parking spot close to the first floor, like the ramp going down to the first floor uh, on the second floor of the six story parking garage. And when it shows you before you come in, like how many parking spots there is available on each floor, it said zero, 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 and then 247 on the sixth floor. And I was like, there's no way in hell I'm parking outside. It's freezing today. I'm gonna have to probably scrape ice and snow off my car at 2.40 in the morning when we land. So it's not about that, but I was wishful thinking. I was like, you know what? You're gonna go in you're gonna find a good parking spot, life is gonna be good, and I did. So, positive thinking. So yeah, I just got to the airport. Um, I'm early. It's two, I have to be at the gate at 2.45. Um, so I'm gonna get out and go through security and everything, and then maybe I'll look at duty free for a little bit, depending on where my gate is. That's probably not a good idea, but whatever. So I'm here. Uh, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I have a chance. You just make the call, yeah, I'm in it for it all. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. Yeah, press it on my body, baby, let me tell you something. I'm in it for the love, cause love it needs to touch it. Yeah, press it on my body, baby, let me tell you something. I'm in it for the love. because it's like 11 o'clock at night. We were delayed uh, as usual. You can't even see anything, just the tunnel, but yeah. So we made it. It's literally a quick turn, so we're gonna be going home. Like now. I'll talk to you guys when I get back. Hey guys, it is um, 3.20 in the morning. I just got in my car from my Punta Cana turn. Um, I'm really tired. <laughs> I've been up since seven o'clock this morning. Um, and it was a long day. The flight there was interesting. Um, we sold all of our food on the flight there that was supposed to be used for the way there and back. Um, which really sucked for the people on the way back, but it was really late coming back. We didn't take off from Punta Cana until probably about 11. So most of the people uh, that were on the flight coming back uh, were sleeping. Uh, so the flight back was pretty easy. I just, um, I just read my book in the galley after doing all of the services and cleaning up and everything. Um, I worked the galley position, which was a pretty intense position today just because there was so much going on on the way down. It was a three hour and 58 minute flight time on the way down and I didn't get to eat my dinner. I was on my feet the whole entire time. Literally, I sealed everything and locked all of the bars and everything 10 minutes before we landed. And then the groomers came on and it was just chaotic so I didn't eat my dinner until probably about one in the morning. But overall, the flight was pretty good. I have the next two days, three days off. It is now Saturday morning, but I have Saturday, Sunday, 
and Monday off and then I have a three-day pairing Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and then I have a turn on Friday a turn on Saturday that comes back late on Saturday night and then on Sunday I fly to Thunder Bay to see my boyfriend which is super exciting uh, but yeah so overall it was a pretty decent turn I mean nothing out of the ordinary happened it was pretty good I didn't get too much footage in Punta Cana just because the bridge they attached had um, like had a cover over top of it and it was also like 11 o'clock when we landed there so or it was like 10 30 when we landed there so it was pitch dark all you could really it was just super humid like my lens fogged up and you could barely even see like anything in the airport which the airport isn't really that interesting anyways other than seeing palm trees which is nice every once in a while it was 28 degrees Celsius there and now I am sitting in the parking garage and it is minus 16 in Toronto and it is supposed to snow tomorrow so thankfully I'm not it <laughs> thankfully I'm not flying tomorrow because I hate driving in the snow but yeah I will check in with you guys when I have another chance probably tomorrow when I wake up it's gonna take me an hour to get home so I probably won't get home until 4 30 and then I need to wash all my makeup off and have a shower so I probably won't go to bed until like 5 30 ish probably this morning and then I promised my brother I would go to his hockey game so yeah I'll talk to you guys when I get another chance um I don't know if I'm gonna end this vlog here or if I'm going to vlog a little bit just of like my lifestyle stuff and then also blog vlog <laughs> I'm so tired or if, or if I'm gonna vlog my pairing um, my three-day trip that starts on Tuesday so uh, I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you guys and yeah have a good night because I know I will driving driving home